Hey guys, so not a letter or anything, but very interesting Chris news. Um, it's been a couple days, so I went over to the farms to see if anything had been posted. And um, February 28th, 2022, Chris, Chan, uh, Chris transferred to another facility. So that's very interesting. Vineling shows Chris has uh, Chris as having been transferred. So here's Western Chandler, age 40, gender male, race white, ethnicity, non-Hispanic. Because, you know, um, custody detail, another facility. Uh, book date was, oh, wow, that's crazy. It's almost been a year. Well, then again, I mean, we've got March, April, May, June, July, August. I mean, six months, it'll have been a year, but it's coming up real fast, really. So, um, so that was the day he was booked. Uh, reporting agency, regional jail. But, um, yeah, he's been transferred. This is, uh, we're going to read some of the <laughs> training Jesus died your eyebrows ah uh, well i guess we know what happened uh do we think he's going to prison or to a hospital uh does this information explain anything i haven't been on kf for a couple of days uh sure it does explains why there's been radio silence for the last month keep in mind the next part is pure speculation i just looked up why an inmate would need a transfer in the state of virginia and the first search is behavior that the inmate cannot willingly or refuses to change to adapt to the prison system and get along with his fellow inmates, et cetera, et cetera. But um, uh, for inmates, he, he doesn't have a uh, cellmate apparently, and they're really not letting him interact with anyone else. So I don't think that would be the case. Uh, now, what facility Chris has been transferred to and why, we do not know. But this is definitely a sign things may not be going so well for Chris. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to assume Chris tarted out and tried to punch holes in his cell wall, uh, but with a failed outcome. Maybe he got news Barb isn't doing well or it was decided that Chris won't go back home. Chris' midlife crisis came early. Um, freight train style, that midlife crisis cometh. I don't think Chris will ever realize that what he did was wrong, but it, if he's been transferred to another facility for tarting out, he's had, he's at least realized that he's not getting out when he thought he was. Uh, well, I think this just changed, to, I think this just changed today. I had alerts set up and I didn't get an email until this afternoon. Uh, I think he's been transferred to the state mental hospital or some other kind of medical facility uh, because it doesn't list where he was transferred to in Vinelink. Just that he's been transferred and CBRJ's phone number in case of questions. Uh, if, he, if he'd just been transferred to a different jail, Vinelink would have listed that info. I mean, that is true because that stuff is public knowledge and you know, but uh, a mental health facility or any kind of facility like that. Uh, <laughs> I don't real I I really don't want to say this, but it's possible Chris got transferred because he was trying to off himself. He's confined away from the general population, so unless he got violent with the guards, probably not likely because they're packing more than just pepper spray. He may have had a really bad mental breakdown after finding he spent uh, be spending another six months in prison. Uh, just let's probably not be looking for him any time to send a letter to anyone. Yeah. I mean, I don't think we're going to find any letters anytime soon. But, uh, yeah. Chris has been transferred. Does it say when the transfer date was? Um, custody said February 28th, so that was yesterday. Um, so it happened, like I said, 
happened yesterday. So this is up to date, brand new stuff that's coming out. Um, and, and like they said, had he been removed from that jail and sent to another, it would be public knowledge since, you know, you're still able to get letters, um, had he been able to get money from people, and all that stuff. But if the it's not knowledge, the public knowledge, and they're you know they're not saying where he's been transferred to. It's probably a place like a hospital or a mental health facility or something like that. Um, that's just speculation. I'm not saying 100% fact, but the way the people have presented it, the fact that it's not listed or public knowledge right now. Um, they're not going to say the reason for the transfer. So that's up to, you know, for speculation. But given how Chris is, maybe he did try to himself. Maybe he threw one of his temper tantrums and got violent. We don't know. Whatever the case is, he's been moved. Um, will he be moved back? I don't know. Um, I guess it's really up to the other facility. <laughs> Another facility. Another one. Uh, it's really up to them. If this is a place where he can get transferred back, uh, it'd be up to him, really, about uh, how he goes about things. And uh, if they feel comfortable releasing him back into the, uh, the jail. Um, So, yeah, if it was, you can see the jail right here, that, that's public knowledge and stuff. So if it was a jail, they would say, oh yeah, sent to this jail over here because people would still be able to send them letters because they don't, they don't deprive inmates of letters, and, you know, things coming to them like money and stuff like that. So, like I said, the reason, I don't know. What, uh, how long he's possibly going to be there? I don't know. <laughs> what the reason was for the transfer? I don't know. We don't know. Um, I mean, hopefully someone manages to find something. Uh, hang on. All right, so I, 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 just when I was talking, I'm like, okay, we're on Kiwi Farm. Let me go to Onion Farms and see if they posted anything. So, uh, this one's been posted. Um, it's over. Transfer to an undisclosed facility. Chris has been transferred to an undisclosed facility. He is no longer at the Central Virginia Regional Jail. My guess is that he's been transferred to a state mental health facility. It was nice. It was a nice run, but it's over. Um, <laughs> I bet he's being kept like Hannibal Lecter in the Silence of the Lambs. <laughs> Well, which part do they mean? I mean, the whole where he's like, he's got the mask on, or the fact that he's like just in a small enclosed glass box, or what well, the whole thing wasn't glass, and just the front part was glass. But um, in, in a situation, I think they mean like, you know, where they've got him strapped in, he's got the mask on. So just for visual. <laughs> So this is what they mean when they've got him like Hannibal Lecter. You know, he's got the straight jacket on. He's got the mask on. Um, which also, if you haven't seen this movie, one, what the hell is wrong with you? And two, go watch it. It's an amazing movie. This man will scare the shit out of you. <laughs> um, such a great movie. Um, but yeah, this is what they think Chris might be like right now, where they've just kind of got him, you know, right there and uh, bound. But um, yeah, he's been transferred, undisclosed. We don't know why, but the fact that they're not disclosing it means that it's a place where they're not allowed to. Meaning it might be a mental health facility or something like that. It's not another jail. It's not prison. 
Um, so, like they said over here, it's over unless he manages to get uh, sent back for whatever reason, maybe a health evaluation. Uh, once they say, oh, yeah, well, you know, it was just an outburst and this and that, but he's fine to go back. I don't know if they can do that. I'm not well versed with the law and prisons or jails and what they can do, what they can't do. Uh, maybe you guys could tell me more if they're able to do that. If they kind of like, um, you know, kind of conclude that he's not going to be a harm to himself anymore or anyone else. Or, But then again, it's Chris. It's Chris. So it's, any normal person would probably have an outburst or something. And, and then that would be it. But it's Chris. Not only has he had outbursts before, he had an outburst on in his, what, first um, court case. So he's... And it's not just while he's been in jail. He's had outbursts before. Remember his favorite uh, game store? So it's Chris. He's not going to learn. So I think when it comes to letters and stuff like that, uh, information about Chris, unless he gets transferred back, this is it. It's done. So pretty much anyone who's fucking subscribed to me for Chris, this is it. You know, unless, like you said, they transfer him back and he's able to receive letters again. Uh, this is it. Um, because, I mean, we know we ha he has a court case in July. But as for somewhat consistent content, you know, the letters and all that, it's not happening. It's not going to happen anymore. Yeah, it was a good run. But um, just like other YouTubers with uh, Isabella, you know, I know Machete Duck made an entire channel just dedicated to that. Look what happened. <laughs> Doesn't, hasn't posted in ages because there's nothing about her. Uh, Chris, however, there's been drops and, uh, you know, things over the past several months. But, I mean, I, I've said from the very beginning, that's why I'm not doing solely, like, Chris Chan stuff, because I knew it was going to end. I said this, it's not going to be around forever. Uh, it, the, the content for him is, it's going to stop. And we're pretty much at the point where it stopped. So, I feel bad for any of you who subscribed to me just for the Chris Chan stuff when I said don't do that, because it was going to come to an end at some point. So... He did it to himself. So now we don't get any info until maybe the court case, which is again in July, July 28th, I think it said. So all good things come to an end. Oh well, I still make my content. Probably lose subscribers and all that, but like I said, it's not like I'm really getting paid by YouTube anyway. It takes me about five, six months just to make $100. So no level loss here, really. Anyways, that's going to do it for me. Probably the last Chris Chan video for a while until we find out July what, you know, continuance or whatever. But um, as for letters, I don't think we're going to be seeing any letters from him anytime soon. Oh, well. Anyways, you guys know the drill. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.